all me again welcome back to my uh, slightly better kitchen um, <laughs> it's a bit neater than last time anyway and we've decided that we're going to move a few things about and I've got a tripod yay so tonight I'm going to be making no bake breakfast bars Woohoo! so at least then I get to have something that's a little bit healthy in the morning or if I'm brushing then I can just grab and go so what I'll do is I'll just show the ingredients and set the tripod up and we can get going so here's the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some sort of rice cereal. You're going to need some sort of rolled oats, uh, dried fruit. In this case, I've got sultanas. Um, you're going to need dry roasted peanuts, some honey, vanilla, uh, sugar. It did call for brown sugar, but I haven't got any. So we're just using golden granulated. And also, as well, we're going to need some peanut butter. It did call for sunflower kernels, but... I don't like sunflower seeds, so there's no point me putting something in that I don't like. Um, I mean, most of the stuff here I don't like, but I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully it will taste all nice once it's been done. So I'm just going to switch over to getting everything set up and measuring everything out. So first things first that's going to go in the bowl is your rice cereal. So this is just two cups. I have no idea why it calls for cups. Um, but yeah, that's roughly what two cups looks like. Um, and then we're going to have two cups of oats again so i'll just measure these out for you hopefully this goes all smoothly probably not but hey ho that's about two cups so you've got your two cups of oaty boys here let's put them in you can use any brand or anything you want it's not too much of a problem and then it's half a cup of roasted peanuts. We've got like this much. Um, I'm going to give them a bit of a bash because they are quite big peanuts. So I want to get them down to a fairly manageable size. Um, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts or anything like that, then use almonds or you can use coconut or you can go with another kind of nut like macadamia. Um, it's, it's totally up to you what you want to do, but as long as you've got some kind of nut in there or you can take them out completely, that's completely fine. Give them a good bash. Might as well show you smashing up a few peanuts. I mean, if you've got a food processor, then you can always do that in there. But for me, why not a bit of uh, elbow grease and getting your uh, workout in there as well? Burn a few calories, smashing some peanuts. Taking your anger out while you're uh, making a uh, cooking. Well, making a recipe, I should say. Let's give it a bit more of a jab. So that looks fairly healthy. There's some bigger ones in there. There's some smaller ones. So I think what we'll do is now we'll add them in. Chuck them bad boys in the bowl. Right, let's see what we need now. So, so we need honey. This is going to be fun. So it's going to stick to everything. So what I'll do is I'll show you a nice little trick to stop honey from sticking to the spoon. So what we're going to do is we are going to spray the inside of the jug so this honey doesn't stick. What I am going to have to do is after as well, I am going to have to put this in another bowl just because I do need to measure out another ingredients as well. So give that a good spritz. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the spoon as well just so the honey doesn't stick. Also, as well, please make sure you've got clean hands. I did do it that before, obviously. So let's put that in. Also, as well, um, I've just googled, um, schmoogled, um, <laughs> the obviously the millilitres to cups, and apparently a metric cup is two hundred and fifty mil. So if you've not got cups on any of your measuring things, then there we go. So if you've managed to do it good enough, it will just end up running off the spoon rather than just sticking to it and making just a gooey mess. So you can see where I didn't do quite enough. But yeah, most of the front and back's not covered in honey. So do that and do it with a mild or don't do it with anything strong. Otherwise, you'll just taint everything. What we'll do is as well, we'll get this poured into the bowl just so I've got room to measure out all the ingredients, all the ingredients that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spatula as well, um, just to kind of scrape everything out. I mean, silicon spatulas are absolutely fantastic just to get all the little drabs and everything out. So that's that sorted for now. So let's get the other ingredients measured. 
Next thing we're going to need is three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. So according to the husband, it's rock solid and I'm just trying to get it out with the spoon and it is absolutely solid. So in terms of peanut butter as well, you can admit that for almond butter. Um, you can even go for, I think there's all different ones. There's like sunflower peanut butter, well, sunflower butter. There's loads of different ones you can get, but if you don't fancy peanut butter or you don't, you're allergic to it, then I would use that. So I'll just get all this measured out. So that all together is your three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. So what we're going to do is now we're going to add the sugar in and add that up to a cup. So as I said, this is meant to be brown sugar, but it will do. So let's just add that in. That will probably be enough. So that should be a quarter of a cup of your sugar. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get this in the microwave for about a minute, a minute and a half, just until it's bubbling. Just depends on your microwave as to what you put it in. So alone what microwave, it'll take longer. If it's high, what then it will be quicker. So just keep your eyes on it and we'll see you in a few minutes. Oh yeah, just to uh, mention as well, this will probably be what it looks like after. I know it's not exactly the uh, prettiest of things, but once it's all warm and all bubbly, it'll look fantastic. So this is the mix after about a minute and a half in my microwave. What I am going to do is I'm going to put it in for about a minute longer just to get it all nice and mixed together and all bubbly. So this is the mix after about two, just over two minutes and it's looking a lot better than what it did before we went in. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this out and then we're going to measure the fruit and then we can pour it into the tray. So that's now all added in into the bowl. Um, you may hear a hissing in the background, I'm just making mine and Jake's tea, um, just because it is like 10 to 10 at night. So I need to do something productive. <laughs> well, we need to eat to be fair. So I'm making dinner as well at the same time. So now we're gonna need two cups of dried fruit. So I'll just get that measured out and then we'll add that in. So I've measured my fruit out, this is two cups of just sultanas there, when most of them want to come out the jug. Let's get them all out. Come on, you can't stay in here. I know you like the peanut butter, but you're not staying in there. Let's get you out. There's that. Last but not least, we're going to add in our lovely little vanilla. So it does call for a teaspoon, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that in. Now, I love vanilla kind of things love vanilla flavoring so what we're going to do is we're probably going to do a little bit more than a teaspoon but if you don't like vanilla then do as much as you want probably about one and a half for me let's add that in so now what we're going to do is i'm going to mix this and we're going to come back once it's all mixed then we can get it in that pan might as well show you what I'm seeing right now. So the smell is absolutely incredible. Obviously you can smell all the peanut butter, you can smell the oats, the rice cereal. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm just trying to mix through it at the minute because it is as hard as anything to try and mix through. To be fair, I might have to get my hands in and mixing it all in at this point. Because it's really, really tough to stir. Um, if you do do that though, wash your hands before you do it. You don't want to end up getting your mucky pops in with this obviously people don't want to be eating things that have, you've had your hands on obviously not too much anyway so i'm just going to get this mixed and then we can get pouring in the pan so this is what it ends up looking like after we've mixed it all which looks absolutely phenomenal to be fair it looks like breakfast cereal which is quite nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the pan over which i've already prepared um, and then we can get that all spread on then so i've just given a bit of a light grease um, you may see some stains already on the floor while well, I've been storing the peanut butter spoons and everything on there, so that's why. So what I'm going to do is let's get this all out. Hopefully I can do it without getting it everywhere. Oh, God, that's a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of filling. Right, so let's get this pressed down. Not a lot left in the bowl, to be fair, so, which is good. Let's get you all pressed down into every nook and cranny. So as I said at the beginning, this is meant to serve 
24 but as it, they're quite filling because obviously they've got all the oats in there they've got the rice cereal they've got everything like that in there so it's going to be quite filling bar even though it may not look as much so let's get this pressed down and then i'll show you the final product once it's done so that is pretty much it um, it is a case of they have got to set in the fridge for a little while um, so that could be anywhere between like an hour and 24 hours um, if you are wanting to store them then you can store them for up to a week all you'll need to do is just wrap them in some plastic wrap and put them in an airtight container and probably pop them in the fridge as well just to keep them fresh but that's all it for now so once this has then been set up what I'll do is I'll cut it up and I'll set it for a thumbnail but that's all done guys if you do have any suggestions as to what you want me to do um please leave a comment or message me on facebook if you know me and um, but that's all sorted for you so see all you guys later bye also breakfast bars for the wind says my little friend who is called pyro hint hint see you later